Certain 16 binder sizes have more of a variety. You want to be sure that they can fit properly into your binder. Some 16 binders can be used for multiple purposes. If I were starting a 16 binder for the first time, the first thing I would do differently is research. I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand what six string binder and refills you're getting before you buy them. So the first thing I would research are six string binder sizes. So if you don't know, there are many different six string binder sizes, such as the A5, the A6, the Archive, and the A7 sizes. And most times these sizes vary based on the company and the country that they're from. So you wanna be sure that you're double checking the size measurements of the 16 binder you're interested in, but also for the binder refills that you would like because you want to be sure that they can fit properly into your binder. So to me, one of the most frustrating things is to be so excited about setting up a new 16 binder only to find out your binder refills are too small or they're too large or they don't line up evenly with your binder rings in the binder that you want to use. Next up, you wanna research the six string binder refill variety. So over time, I've learned that certain six string binder sizes have more of a variety in their refills than others. For example, the A6 binder has a lot of different refill options you can buy, making it really easy for you to refresh the look of your binder or repurpose how you use your six string binder. So for example, some six string binder refills you can use for your binder cover, some you can use for deco sticker storage, or you can even use calendar refills for planning. The next thing I would do differently is to not pressure myself to journal every day. Listen, life gets busy, and even though I want a habit of journaling daily, sometimes it just doesn't happen, and that's perfectly okay. So if you're like me with this kind of thing, please be kind and patient with yourself and journal when you can. The next thing I would do differently is to remember that my journal spreads don't have to be aesthetic or pretty. So if you prefer to journal without adding any additional stationery or deco items, that is perfectly acceptable and okay. Some of my best journaling experiences happen when I'm just writing out everything I'm thinking and feeling on paper without worrying about how aesthetic or pretty it is. I mean, some of these spreads are to the point where I can't even read my own handwriting, yet they make some of the best journaling sessions for me which leads into my next topic, and that is to stop comparing my spreads to others. So the beauty of journaling is that everyone has their own style and aesthetic when it comes to making journal spreads. So just because your spread doesn't look like someone else's doesn't mean that yours is worthless or ugly or inferior. There is no right or wrong way to journal. Just be sure that you stay true to yourself and the things that you like. And the next thing I would stop doing differently is to start exploring different ways that you can use your six string binder. So remember earlier when I mentioned that having certain six string binders means that you have a variety in their refills. So this plays into this point as well, since some six string binders can be used for multiple purposes. For example, some six string binder refills you don't have to use just for journaling. You can also use them for note taking, drawing, storage, and so much more. So feel free to explore the different ways you can start using your six string binder and let me know down in the comments below anything new that you have learned since having a six string binder and I'll see you guys in the next video kittens. Adios. All right, we're about to start. Is this the middle? I think this is the middle. You got this. It's okay to show your face even though it's been light years. No buzz. Uh-huh. <laughs>